There have been numerous investors on Dragon's Den since it launched almost 20 years ago, who have included Kelly Hoppen and Duncan Bannatyne. The latest lineup for the popular BBC business show however consists of Peter Jones, Deborah Meaden, Tukar Suleiman, Sarah Davis, and Stephen Bartlett. The five investors, who each made their debut on the show at different times, feature in the 20th series of the programme, which is currently being broadcast weekly. Although they are household names, viewers may not know that much about their lives away from the den, so here's a look at the personal lives of the five current dragons, as well as those of some previous investors on the show. Peter Jones Peter, 57, is the last remaining original investor on Dragon's Den. The entrepreneur, known for running tech companies, has been on the show since it launched in 2005. Back then, he was married to his first wife Caroline. The pair, who are said to have divorced in 2008, have two children together, with them parents to Annabelle, 29, and William. More recently, has been in a relationship with Tara Cap. The couple are believed to be in a long-term relationship, with it reported that Peter and Tara are not married. The couple, who are the co-founders of lifestyle brand Truly Together, which launched in 2019, have three kids together. They are parents to Natalia, 21, Isabella, 17, and Delula, 16. Deborah Mead and Deborah, 64, made a name for herself through leisure and retail businesses before joining Dragon's Den back in 2006. She has remained on the show since her debut. The entrepreneur has been married to Paul Farmer since 1993. The couple are said to have met years earlier in 1985 when he worked at her family's business West Star Holidays. They are said to have been in a relationship some time after meeting but later split up. Deborah and Paul are said to have rekindled their romance a few years later. The couple, who got married in 1993 after getting back together, are said to live on a farm in Somerset with a variety of animals, which includes several dogs and horses. Whilst discussing such, she once told the Daily Mail, I don't like anything with too much dependency. Children are very dependent, which is probably why we never had them. And she revealed to The Telegraph in 2011 that Paul is responsible for domestic chores at their home. I hate cleaning, she commented, before later adding, I still don't do any domestic chores, my husband Paul is in charge. Tukar Sulaiman Tukar Sulaiman, 69, has been an investor on the BBC show for a number of years, having joined the lineup in 2015. As a fashion retail entrepreneur outside of the show, it's unknown whether Tukar is in a relationship at the moment. It's been reported previously that he isn't married, though he doesn't appear to have publicly discussed such. He has however spoken about his two children on social media in recent years. The entrepreneur, who is said to live in London, is father to daughters Tasha, 24, and Taya, 20. Sarah Davis Sarah, 38, is one of the most recent additions to Dragon's Den, having joined the show in 2019. She made a name for herself in business through a crafter's supply company. The entrepreneur has been married to her husband Simon Davis since 2007. She previously revealed that they had met as teenagers and have been together for two decades. Sarah said in 2021, I would say we're still as madly in love today as we were 22 years ago. 
we have this deep-rooted respect of each other, and, I idolize the ground he walks on. The married couple, who are understood to live with their family and Teesside, have two children together. Sarah and Simon are parents to sons Oliver, 9, and Charlie, 6. Stephen Bartlett Stephen, 30, became the youngest ever dragon to join the show in 2021. The entrepreneur has co-founded several businesses and is also known for his Diary of a CEO podcast. It's understood that Stephen has been in a relationship with influencer Melanie Vaz Lopez since last year. They are said to have first connected through social media in 2016. The couple are believed to have dated a few years ago before going their separate ways. Stephen has suggested that it ended because he was too dedicated to his career. Stephen, who's spoken about wanting to have a family of his own in the future, is said to have since rekindled his romance with Melanie after flying to Bali to win her back. Speaking about his relationship, he told The Sun last year, getting myself into a loving relationship with a wonderful woman has totally been my greatest achievement. Stephen said he had kind of avoided relationships until his mid-twenties, adding, I've been mature enough to keep, this, relationship strong and grow with it. Duncan Bannatyne one of the original dragons, Duncan announced he was leaving his chair in 2014 after 12 series due to other business commitments. Duncan has been married three times and has six children from his first two wives he wed first wife Gail Brody in 1983, who he shares daughter Holly, Abigail, Jennifer and Eve with, but they divorced in 1994. Then he tied the knot with Joanne McHugh in 2006, mother of his kids Emily and Thomas, but their marriage ended six years later. Duncan said he received a text from Joanne while filming the ninth series of Dragon's Den stating she had filed for divorce in the High Court. So when I stood in that car park, with my fellow Dragon's Den judge Peter Jones, shaking with disbelief at Joanne's text message, I knew it was going to be expensive, he told the Daily Mail in 2013. He admitted he regretted not signing a prenuptial agreement as the divorce cost him £345 million but he was truly in love. Now the 71-year-old is married to Nigger of Whitehorn, who is 31 years younger than the former dragon. Duncan fell madly in love with her the first time they met when he visited the Harley Street dental surgery she was working in. He proposed after two years together and they married in Portugal the following year. Kelly Hoppen Kelly, 63, is known for her interior design expertise and has appeared on various TV shows. This includes being an investor on Dragon's Den between 2013 and 2015. She has been married twice in the past firstly to Graham Corrett, with whom she shares daughter Natasha Corrett. She was later married to Sienna Miller's dad Edwin Miller. Kelly has more recently been in a relationship with John Gardner. She mentioned him a recent piece for the Daily Mail, which saw her discuss having been diagnosed with breast cancer last year. The entrepreneur described him as loving and supportive adding that he had been buoying, her, up when, her, strength faltered and, her, mood plummeted, making, her, laugh when, she, wanted to cry. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at mirror. Co.uk or call us direct 0207 29 33033.